in in the past, I I went to Nepal and I and I was uh, walked up a mountain by a Sherpa, a very very wonderful person. On the way from the airport to the mountain, he took me to his home. It was a mud hut, and it was with a grass roof, and uh, we we boiled water and made something akin to tang because uh, all the water had to be boiled. They hadn't had water, hadn't had rain in six months. And it gave me uh, an understanding of what of need versus want. Because these folks lived there year round and they ha had community, they had family, they had love, they had kindness. And their needs at a very minimal level were being met. In America, Western lifestyles, once we become accustomed to having cable television, flushing toilets, running water, uh, endless food from grocery stores, people might turn those wants into needs. They might start to see those wants as needs. And they become synonymous with needs. Oh, I, I don't have this set of cable channels. I really need that because my neighbor has that and they said it's really good and I'm missing out because because uh, I don't have those channels. This this cycle here of fear of pain, death, discomfort and lack and comparison to others is generative of it's based on new referenced and rationalized standards experiential standards, they become the new norm. And, and this is this whole cycle of wanting more and more and more and ad addictively feeding on having more, no matter how much we get, it's never enough to, to fill the, the empty space of more is driven by an underlying subconscious feeling of historical consensus consciousness uh, fear lack and lack mentality and associated emotional dynamics and comparison and contrast dynamics between people. If, if we feel someone else has more than we do or better than we do, then there's a part of us that wants that as if that's a good thing to want. So how many nations in the world want a Western lifestyle? And what would that do to the planet if they all had it today, immediately? It, it we would destroy ourselves ever faster. This is a cycle and a spiral downward rather than upward. It's digging a hole rather than climbing a mountain while imagining we're climbing a mountain. And, and it's antithetical to a sustainable lifestyle for humanity. <laughs>